Okay, I trying to do this video and can you hear it's like waves in my computer that have a sound like waves. Okay. Why the main noise? Okay, we are. Okay, so in Genesis, I'm trying to do this video like a lot of times and I cannot finish. Okay, so God, uh, in this part, is this not the part I want to talk about? Let me see. In 124, I guess. Okay, let's start in this part and we have to do. <laughs> Put the pieces together, okay? So in the sixth day, in the sixth day, God, in this God here, mean Elohim, okay? So in Genesis 1, it's always Elohim. So Elohim say, say it. What means say it? Amar. I don't know what mean Amar, but Amar in, in, in Spanish, in English mean love, okay? I don't know. Okay, so God say, say, he speak, he speak, he say something to some something or to somebody. He say, the Elohim say, let the earth, let the earth. So when they say let the earth, they say, it, for example, they say uh, Janet. Let your children grow up. Janet, let your mother bring food. Okay? So Elohim say, Leave earth. Do something. Okay? You understand this part? So Elohim say, Let the earth. So he's telling the earth, the earth is going to do something. What he's going to do is going to bring forth. It's going to bring forth. And bring forth mean, bring forth mean, give birth. Okay, it's going to give birth or his, or earth is going to produce something. Okay. Or it's a gift bird. Okay, so produce of gift bird. That means the two things. So when Elohim say, left the earth, give birth to something. Earth is going to give birth. Or left the earth, produce something. Okay, so the earth is going to do this. No Elohim. Elohim is not going to do this. Elohim is not, is not going to give birth. No. Who is going to give birth is earth. Okay? Okay. What is the earth is going to bring, uh, give birth is the living creaturas. And I'm going to prove you the living creaturas are the beast. And also mean age. Okay? So... The earth is going to give birth a living creatures who mean souls. Okay, here they say, let the earth bring the living creatures. I'm not going to put it this. Bring the living creatures according with their kinds. So, what is the kinds? The first. Okay, bring forth mean give birth or produce. Okay, I say this already. So the air is going to produce or going to give birth three kinds according with the Bible. The first kind is the live stuff. The second crowd are the land of the crawlers, the land of the crawlers. And the third kind is going to be the beast of the earth. So who is going to give birth to to these three three kinds 
or something because I'm not going to display in this video this use I want to use touch this part who is going to produce or is going to give birth art earth is not Elohim is earth in this case okay okay now if you may click in living living mean shy who mean age in living okay living mean living mean shy and the beast mean shy the same who all both mean age so the fourth living the fourth here the living creaturas are the beast the living creaturas are the beast they're telling you living mean be age beast mean age so the beast is the age so the beast the beast living creaturas the living creaturas are the beast okay and who is going to give birth or produce these kinds are earth now if the living creaturas are four in the bible the living creaturas according with the bible are four the ox the eagle men and the other one i cannot remember the other one uh, i can remember okay so who's going to give are four creaturas but here the earth is going to produce only three creaturas so who is going to produce the other creaturas that one the, the four who is going to produce the other beast is or, or beast or ish is elohim okay let me prove you here okay genesis 1 26 so in Genesis 1.24, Elohim command or say to the earth, give birth to the three living being, three living, uh, who is the beast, the three beasts, okay? The three living creatures who are the beast or the age, but only the three. So the four is going to give birth is Elohim. So then Elohim, say let us men who is men is adam or mankind so if you see here this adam in the other translations they show here anthropo anthropotos anthropotos and also in this part are missing the word human Okay, so they are not human and they, they are not the ray, they are not anthropodos. This Adam is not anthropo anthropodos who are in the other translations. Okay, and this this man this Adam is not anthropodos, it's men or mankind, but it's not human and it's no anthropodos, it's different. Okay, so let Elohim say let this man this man in oh let's make this man in our image so this man who is mankind or adam is the image of elohim this man who is not human is not human is no anthropos is the image of this elohim so this man let us make men in our image after our likeness to rule is rule mean archon to rule over the fish and the sea the birds of the air and over the livestock and and over all the earth itself so who's going to rule earth and in the in in the bible is telling you earth is who produce the three beasts earth produce the three beasts the three ages so earth is so powerful who produce okay like like he is going to give birth or create it too earth yes earth but who is going to create men 
is Elohim in his own image. Okay, so that's, and then, okay, so the way say, so Elohim created man in his own image, in the image of Elohim, he created him, male and female, he created them. So the image of Elohim is male and female. Okay, so Elohim, they call him, him, him is male and female. Okay, oh, sorry that I'm here. So, okay, so then we have the four beasts because man is one of the beasts. Okay, man is one of the beasts and the four living creatures. And the four living, the four living creatures, you know, right? Four living creatures. One is, one is man, right? So here is man. Okay, so one of the four living creatures is men. Okay, so we have the four living creatures who mean the four ages or the four beasts. The four beasts who is the ox, the eagle, the fox, the eagle, the lion. Okay, and here the, the four. Okay, so who created men who's going to rule over earth. He's going to rule over earth. He's going to be the ruler, the boss, the boss over earth, who is going to command over earth. The boss is men because it's the own image of Elohim. Okay, and now I'm going to do my next part. Who are this male and female and okay then we want to see about us and everything but let's go for parts so in here the four beasts men is in genesis 26 is one of the four beasts okay they are the beasts 